What is up everybody, Moritz here from Sections to Once Again and today we are going to be having a look at this very fine looking product video section right here. You can implement onto your product page and you can put it wherever you want on the page you desire and I'm going to show you in a few easy steps how you can get that for your very own store. All right. First thing I did for that is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app, which is a component library with over 220 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And you can get this app and all the designs into your store. And another nice thing, which also comes with this app is that you can install one of the sections and delete the app afterwards, but you're still gonna remain with the section inside your store. So you're not gonna lose any speed or whatsoever. Like I said already, the one we will be looking at today is the product video sectioner. It does come with a one-time fee of $9, but that means if you bought it once, you will own it forever, no subscription fee or whatsoever. And also you have full customization options to the whole thing and getting that by a developer would take a lot of time and you would still not have the, the customization options. So I think it's a pretty good deal at the end of the day. Before you can actually use the section, you have to install it to the theme you are using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme. So let's just find this one real quick, add it to the theme right here, Dawn Live theme, but you can also install it to every other theme. It's up to you. We optimized it for every theme and then just open up the theme editor. I've already done so. Then I'm going to head over to the product page, select the default product page, the one you saw in the beginning of the video already. If I would want to start completely from scratch, that's the one you saw already. I would have to just scroll down, click on add section, type in product video. And this is the one. There you can see it, but we're not going to need that one because we will be working with that one. And what I would like to do on this one right here is to add another one. So as you can see right here, we have a total of four videos and I would like to add a fifth one. So I'm just gonna click on add video right here, select the video from my media files, how you can do that. We put a separate link for that into the section itself, but it's super easy, you just add to the Shopify admin area, click on files, then add files, and then you can simply upload the video you want to have in there. I'm just going to pick this one. So here we can see the selected video. You can also do a YouTube video that is up to you in the end. And here we could also pick a thumbnail image. And then in the main customizations, we can decide if we want to show the thumbnail or the actual video, which is getting auto played already. And another nice thing about this section right here is that if you click on one of the videos, actually a modal will open up where you can decide what heading text you want to keep right here. You can also put product information that is up to you in the end. And I think that's a really nice way to display the product or maybe do some upselling even or whatever you actually would like to do. I'll just show you some more custom things you can do to the thing. If you click on the main block itself, you can see right here, we can push the positioning of the whole thing. So if you want to have it above the product title, that will be possible as well. Always make sure to save the whole thing up. So it's getting placed in the right position. Let's just give it a second. And there you can see it's the buff, the product title right now. We can change the text here as well, our products. So as you can see, it's getting updated in live. If we change some text and if we save it up, we can actually see that one. So let's give that one second and we can change all the fonts, heading sizes, a bunch of other things, how many slides we want to see per view. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive as well. So if I switch to mobile right here, you can see it's still working in a very lovely way. We can use the slide shadow so we have a better contrast on that whole thing, overlay capacity and a bunch of other things. But I'm not going to go into detail too much because at the end of the day, you want to customize that thing to your likings and can tweak around on whatever you want to do. Last thing I would like to show you is that we can change the background color of the arrows. So if I would do that, you can see right here, you can even change the hover. So that is a nice effect for sure. And the section background is something we could change as well. Of course, the heading color. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's save it all up as a final look at it in the live version. And if everything worked fine, we should be able to see our newly updated product video section on this one right here. So let's give it a little reload. 
that is looking good. It's all in there. And if we navigate through it, we can even see our new slide with the text right here. And the video should load up in a second. Yeah, looking perfectly fine. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. If you guys found it useful, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.